With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question it is given that calculate the percentage hydrolysis and the pH of 0.02 molar CH3COONH4. KB is given 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 and Ka is given 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5. So let's see that how the reaction is taking place. Actually, this CH3COO minus in water gives you CH3COOH plus NH4OH, right? So if you consider that Kh, uh, if you consider then H is the degree of hydrolysis, H is the degree of hydrolysis, right? H is the degree of hydrolysis and you can say Kh is the hydrolysis constant then let's say how uh, this will occur so you can say if its initial concentration is C and C like this then what you can say C into 1 minus H and this will be C into 1 minus H, 1 minus H and this will be CH and this will be CH where H is the degree of hydrolysis and C is the initial concentration right now from this what you can say that KH will be equals to concentration of CH3COOH and NH4OH whole divided by this CH3COO minus and you have NH4 plus right. So from here what you will write C square H square divided by C square into 1 minus H which will be equals to H square by 1 minus H. Now you know that the value of H is very 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 smaller than 1. It is expected that the value of DD of hydrolysis is smaller than 1. So it is considered that KH is equals to H square. Now you, this is the very important thing. That is KH is equals to H square. Now how do you calculate this? Let's see. Now the hydrolysis constant KH is equals to KW by Ka into Kb. This is very important formula. We know in case of salt hydrolysis of weak acid and weak base, the hydrolysis constant Kh is equal to Kw by Ka into Kb. So Kw is 10 to the power minus 14. We know the value of Kw. And what is K, Ka and Kb given? So Ka and Kb is given 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5. So it is 1.6 into the power minus 5 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5. So from here, what you will get, the value of Kh will be equals to this value of KH will come out to be how much? 3.906 into 3.906 into 10 to the power minus 4. This is the value of KH. Now we have already seen this expression that as uh, this H is very very smaller than 1, then KH will be equals to H square. In that case, what will be degree of hydrolysis? H will be root under KH. So what is root under? root under 3.906 into 10 to the power minus 4 this value will come out to be 1.976 into 10 to the power minus 2 and this is only the degree of hydrolysis so percentage degree of hydrolysis if it is asked then percentage degree of hydro what was asked in the question you can see very well it was asked calculate the percentage hydrolysis so percentage hydrolysis will be equals to 1.976 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by the initial 0.02 is the concentration you can see what is the concentration given 0.02 molar so this value will be multiplied by 100 right in order to get the percentage this will come out to be 98.81 right 98.8 uh, you can say 98.8 percent will be the value so this is the percentage degree of hydrolysis right we have got our aim is to calculate the pH. So value of pH in case of salt of weak acid and weak base is given by 7 plus half into pKW plus pKA minus pKB. This is the formula. So when you were, uh, not 7, this is the uh, formula for half pKW plus pKA minus pKB. So from here, from this formula, you can easily calculate pH will be equals to half into what is pkw pkw is 14 we know and pka has been given to us uh, uh, pka has not been given we have been given the value of ka ka 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 and kb is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 so both the things are same so if 
ke and kb is equal if ke and kb is equal then what is pka pka is minus log of ka and pkb is minus log of kb right it is minus log of kb so if pk if ka and kb is equal then pk and pkb will also be equal so what you will say that if pk a and pk b are equal then they will cancel out pk and pk b are equal so finally you will say that plus zero so you will write seven so ph will be equals to seven and this is only the required answer for the given question that ph is equals to seven so calculate the percentage hydrolysis so ph we have calculated seven and we have also calculated the percentage hydrolysis so i hope you have understood thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today